I'm going to try to turn this daytime scene into a night werewolf transformation scene using generated fill AI. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. So here I am. I have the footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. I don't have a shot of the house, but I do have an empty frame where I'm not in it. And I want to export this from Premiere Pro. So I'm going to click this camera and export it as a PNG. I'm going to click OK. And then the next thing we got to do is open Photoshop. And if you've never used Photoshop for anything, don't worry. I'm not like a pro at Photoshop either. You're going to be able to follow along just fine. Once Photoshop opens, all you do is you click this, this open button, right? And in your downloads, that's where I chose to save my PNG. You could have chose to save it somewhere else, like in Premiere. You could click this and then uh, choose a location. See this? Uh, you click the browse button and you can choose a location to save it. But I chose to save mine right here in the downloads. I'm going to click open. And boom, here we are. This is the blank scene. Now, the first thing that's given away that this is the daytime scene instead of a night scene is the sky. And so let's remove that. We can come over here to select and we can pick sky. Boom. Now it's like perfectly masked out the sky. And we want to do a generative fill and we want to change this to night, night sky, creepy, full moon. It's not bad. That first one it really isn't. The light seems a little off to be right there, but let's see what our other options are. You can over, over here on the right hand side, they have variations. Kind of like how to put a lamp post in there. It's kind of cool. So I don't, I don't love any of those, but let's, uh, let's try again. Let's try night sky, dark, full moon, cloudy. Let's try that. You just click the generate button again. I, I already like this one more. This one seems a little fakeish. And then if you don't like any of them, just click generate again. And you can just keep generating these until you get one that you really like. So I like this one here, but it's not perfect. I'm going to select the lasso tool here and do generative fill and do full moon. That already looks better. I'm going to have me transform into a wolf and want the camera to pan upwards. So we need to make this seem taller than it is. So we're going to click this crop tool right here. And we're going to bring that up. Well, it's probably that tall. And then just click generate and it will auto fill the height of that. There we go. Once you're happy with your image, just click file, export, and you can do a quick export as a PNG, just super fast. Just save it somewhere and then you can open back up Premiere Pro. You can bring it in. I'm going to put it underneath my footage like this the whole duration of my footage and then I just take it underneath my footage and now I can just mask out what needs to be there so I can click this mouse tool and I'm just going to fairly roughly draw a mask for what we need okay and then my only problem is uh, the other one's too tall so it doesn't match quite yet but I can come over here and I can bring him all the way up until they line up perfectly that's how you do that